Hello, this is Brad from Survival Comps, and today we're going to discuss putting a choke on a section of quarter inch cable. Now, this would be like RG58, or in this example here, we have RG223 because I happen to have a lot of that cable and I needed a 50 foot section with an integrated choke. Now, in fed antenna designs and things of that nature, sometimes use the shield of the cable as a counterpoise to a certain degree, and you want to stop that common mode current in that antenna design from reaching your two-way radio equipment and in some designs you want to stop all of the common mode current at the antenna at the feed point so either way this is a good way to do that now you can buy cables with integrated chokes they're not inexpensive or what you can do is, is just buy a bunch of these mixed 31 quarter inch ferrite beads like I've done here I have six beads here and some three quarter inch heat shrink tubing so what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead, I've already terminated the cable on this end, we're going to go ahead and terminate the cable on this end after placing our choke on here, and then we're going to take a heat gun and we're going to heat shrink it all up, and then we'll test our cable and see if we did a good job. So the first thing we're going to do is assemble our beads and place them into our heat shrink tubing. This makes it a lot easier, so kind of just load your beads in here. And what you want to do is, is you want to push them all and have them close to the end here. And then you want to have the same amount of space here for when we take our heat gun and apply heat to this tubing. So it kind of seals the ends up. It's not going to fully seal it up because it is, after all, pretty thick. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to shove a couple other small pieces of coax at the very ends of this assembly. So after you get all your beads in here, and I'm putting six beads in here, now we'll take a couple small pieces of quarter inch heat shrink tubing here. Place this one piece on first. And then we'll go ahead and put our choke on. So again, just push your coax cable through all of your beads slide it down your cable. You typically want this choke to be between, you know, six inches or so of the feed point or the end of the radio. So we're done with that and then we'll take another small quarter inch piece of tubing. We'll use this one here. It's a little bit, we'll use this one here. It's a little bit longer. And slide this down here. Now we're going to take a longer piece of tubing and slide it over here and that's going to go at the tail of our connector. Now we'll go ahead and put our connector on. Take our crimp ring and slide it on our cable. Now we'll take our stripper, prep our cable for the connector. Just like that. Place our center conductor on, apply a crimp, check our work, then we'll spread out our shields a little bit, place on the body of our connector, press it on until it snaps, dress up our braid. Place our tail on. Then applying a crimp to our connector. Now our RF connector is complete. Now we'll go ahead, move up this here. And now all we gotta do is use our heat gun. Start with our connector first. And then our second piece of quarter inch tubing. We want to be like six to eight inches from the end. Now move your choke down to that stop. A whole enchilada. Now take that quarter inch piece of tubing on the opposite side of the choke and put it in there and go ahead and apply heat across this entire assembly. And here is our choke assembled. 
And we've got our RF connector at this end. I've already color coded it. So if I run multiple cables, I know which one's what. And we're gonna put it on the spectrum analyzer here at the tracking generator and see how much loss is in the cable. And then we're also gonna measure the common mode attenuation performance of this particular choke. Let's go ahead and check our cable for loss. Looks like at 80 meters we're a little over four tenths of a dB. At 40 meters we are a bit over a half of a dB and eight tenths of a dB is 20 meters and that's pretty much spec for this RG223 cable. And we moved to 10 meters and you can see that we're a little over one and one tenths of a dB there. And let's see how we're doing on common mode attenuation with our choke. At 80 meters, we're just under 19 dB. 40 meters, just over 20 dB. 20 meters, just under 20 dB. And almost 25 dB at 10 meters. Well, congratulations, you finished your 50 foot section of feed line with an integrated choke. You can be the envy of all your friends and you saved a ton of money. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.